Hello and welcome to another episode of the Photoshop Quick Tips Podcast. My name is Justin Seeley, I'll be your host, and in this week's episode we're going to be taking a look at how you can apply camera raw settings to multiple images without ever having to leave the Adobe Bridge. So, let's say for instance that you've applied several camera raw settings as I have for this particular image here. I've converted it to grayscale, I've added a split tone, I've increased the clarity and the contrast a little bit. So I've done all these different things and it's got all of these develop settings applied to it. But as you can see here, uh, over here on the right hand side, I've got several other images from that same photo shoot that I would like to apply those settings to. So without having to jump into camera raw, there's actually a great shortcut built into the Adobe Bridge that's going to allow you to copy the settings from your original image and then apply it to the images you want inside of your content window. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to select the image that I have edited here at the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hold down Option Command on the PC that would be Alt and Control and the letter C on my keyboard and that's going to copy the develop settings or you could simply come up here to the edit menu choose develop settings and select copy camera raw settings now once you have those copied what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and select all three of these images here as you can see bridge selects all three of those images there what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do option command or alt control and the letter V and once we do that it's gonna come up here with a paste dialog that says paste camera raw settings and you get to choose exactly which settings you want to be applied to this. Now I want everything that was done to that original image to be done to these other three so I'm gonna leave everything selected here and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click OK. Once I do that you're gonna see Bridge is gonna go ahead and it's gonna process one, it's gonna process two, and it's gonna process three. And if I click on these individually you'll see there's one, two, three, and then my original and they've all got the exact same settings, the exact same look and feel. So you can see how quickly and easily you can process multiple photographs without ever having to leave the comfort of the Adobe Bridge. So that's it for this episode of Photoshop Quick Tips. If you have any questions or comments, as always, you can post them on the blog site at www.photoshopquicktips.com or you can drop me a line via my personal blog page at www.justinseely.com. Thanks, everybody, for watching this episode of the Photoshop Quick Tips Podcast. My name is Justin Seeley, and I'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.